Okay, so I wanted to show you how to incorporate a faces only sequence that you might purchase into your own sequence. So what I've done here is I've uh, opened up Enter the Sandman, which is my full sequence, but I deleted out the faces. So I'm I'm basically showing what you might have. Uh, you might have a, a sequence to this song already and have your own props and stuff that you have sequenced to this but you wanted to add the faces portion. So here's my faces portion for the same song. It, it kind of looks empty, but that's because they don't start singing until about a minute into it. So let's scroll down here and here's the faces singing. Okay. So what you would want to do is um, you need to assign them the same channel numbers that I have, or you will need to change them later. So, in this instance, if I go to the channel configuration, which shows all the channels that are in here, if you notice the, um, well, the garage lights, I don't even use those now. I now use DMX, but still, uh, the rest of the lights, starting with this pumpkin pyramid, is unit number three, uh, then it goes to unit number four for the tombstones and ghost unit number five for my skeleton okay so this, in this instance there is not a uh, controller one or two which is what my faces are on now you may have to if, if you have a sequence let's say you have a 32 channel sequence that means you use two, two controllers and it's very possible you made those controllers uh, units one and two already which is fine then you would just add a controller and you would make it uh, three and four. In this case, because I don't have um, one and two in here, we're going to use one and two. So we're going to add controller one. Now it does that to the bottom here. So here it is. And it's unit one, circuit one, up to 16. All right. Now, in my faces here, well, it doesn't want to do this because... Okay, in my faces here, they're called face one, eye top, eye bottom, top lip, middle lip, bottom lip, open mouth, circle mouth. And they're all in the same order for all four faces. Okay, so we're going to go to the channel configuration again. And I need to add that again. Um, Add the controller, controller one. Okay. So now you could change these names later. You could do it right here if you wanted to. You would go into and say um, however you want to do it. Face one, I top. Face one. Uh, I bottom, etc. Okay, that doesn't need to be done right now. Um, but you would probably want to go ahead and do it because once you have done this, let's just hit OK. And here they are. And uh, fortunately, there isn't really a way to. <laughs> I mean, you can have these down here. There, there isn't really a way to move. Um, all of these um, at once up or down so if you notice it says move up that'll move that channel only one and you'll have to do it all the way up to the top um, in the new s5 version you can right click in here and you can say um, to sort the group by physical channel number which would put this controller number one at the top. I don't think there's a way to do it in S4 here. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's keep them down here for now. Let's move it back down. Okay. Uh, but we need two controllers added in here because the faces take seven channels each eight channels sometimes if you're using an eighth channel for the outline 
Um, I have dis discussed um, in some other videos how that's not actually necessary. You can actually do the um, outline can be connected to face number uh, to the bottom of the eye because if your face turns on the bottom of the eye is always on even when it blinks so the bottom eye could be attached to your outline and um, you could use seven channels instead of eight it's, it's up to you okay so let's go back to the channel configuration and let's add in another controller let's add in controller number two okay so now we have our uh, 16 channels down here that we need for the faces. So if you take my sequence, okay, select all, okay, right click, you're going to do select rows. So now it's selected all of these rows and you're going to copy it. So you're going to come back here, you're going to go for these channels here. Actually, let me go back because these cha these are seven channels, not eight. And if you look at the um, uh, the last face one is unit one circuit seven, which is your your controller one channel seven. If I go to face two, it's gonna do controller one um, nine because the way I did it was one through seven and then 9 through 15 and I left uh, number 8 and number 16 open for something else that's just how I did mine okay so because of that because these are 7 and not 8 channels let's choose uh, face 1 select the rows we'll copy this and we're gonna do let's try 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Let's uh, select this entire row. Now let's try pasting it in. And there we go. It's just a different color. Um, I usually do my faces yellow. I don't know. I like to have the different props, different colors. So again, if you want to do that, you can come in here and you can change the color, but you can also do that in your channel configuration. Uh, it's probably a little bit easier to do it in there. So let's go down here if you want, just to show you. Here's your face one. There's the one I already changed to yellow, but you can do it right here a lot quicker. Okay, whoops, I guess I forgot to do the last row. But you get the idea. So, it looks like you have, I have to select the entire thing. So let's go to phase two. We'll do uh, all the seven rows here. We'll right click, we'll select the entire row. We'll copy it. We'll come back to here. We will pick the next face here. Right clicked. Select the row and paste it in. And now there's the other face also. Okay, just in blue. So you would just do that for all four faces. Uh, you will be left with, because we added a controller at a time and my faces are uh, seven channels per face. So seven times four is 28 channels. When you add an entire controller, which is 16 channels each, that's 32 channels. So obviously there's gonna be, the four channels on the bottom here are just gonna be empty and you can either leave them in here to add um, other lights to they are open channels that can be used off of those two controllers for something else if you like um, I did do when I originally did my uh, setup my four faces were on the roof and I had um, two roof line lights and a strobe light and there was one other light and so there was four lights there and so I used the four available channels from my singing faces in order to maximize my channel use. And then my other sets of channels uh, that you can see in here are for my tombstones out front, which are in here in uh, this area. 
Uh, my little pumpkin pyramid is in this area. My little, I call them ghosts. Uh, they're just some Halloween props with some spotlights on them is in this area. And then, then this guy is my dancing skeleton, which is 16 channels. Okay. But that is how you would take your own sequence and you would add in uh, my faces to it. So you're really copying and pasting, but you do need to add in the faces, in the, the channels into your sequence, so then you can copy and paste it in. Now, what I would do is, um, you know, do this properly. If you want the faces at the top, fine. If you're fine with them on the bottom, that's fine. But, you know, that, that's up to you, and you would have to move them um, up or down. Whoops, sorry. You would have to move these up or down. I, I forgot you can drag these also. So I just don't know if you can drag multiple at once. Um, I don't think you can pick multiple at once. Yeah. So you, you kind of have to drag them up once, one by one if you wanted them, you know, up at the top up here. Um, but you go in here, and again, you can do it under channel configuration, or you can do it on each one. I can change the name, the color, and the controller numbers right in here as well. It's, it's a little quicker to open up the uh, channel configuration and be able to do it in just one window. So I kind of recommend that it's a little bit easier to do but that's completely up to you and that is how you would put my faces only into your own sequence and the reason I say uh, uh, label it how you want it get it on the right channels move the channels up or down where you want them you know uh, do whatever you like because once you've done that you only have to do it once okay you would go in here and you would import export you would export this channel configuration name it whatever you want you know um, new channel config okay uh, actually it doesn't want to save it because I have just downloaded this um, Laterama editor uh, version S4 because I'm currently running S5. So I'm running the S4 right now for this video demo, but I have not entered my license number, so it's not letting me save things in there. But uh, but that's all you would do. You would you would just come in, you would export this channel configuration once you have uh, divvied it up the way you like, and um, and now you have that channel configuration where you would open up that ch channel configuration. If you have another sequence, let's say, you'd open up that new channel configuration, you would copy and paste your current sequence into the new channel configuration you just did, and then copy and paste my faces in there as well. And that would be going forward, as long as you're gonna be using faces, um, going forward, that would be your new channel configuration. And I think that's everything, and I hope that helps, thanks.